Hey everybody, Broderick here. We're back with another episode in my Callisto Protocol series. If you all remember, in the last episode, we finally got a suit upgrade, so we got a little bit more inventory space, a little bit more health, and we lost our boy Elias. Kind of sucks, but we got a moon to escape from, so let's keep on going. nice of that machine to grind up the body after we cut the implant off the back of his head. Alright, looks like we're going to have to battle our way out of here. Let's do it. take too much more damage here. They, uh, there's a couple of rooms like this in the game that spawn enemies in here with you with a bunch of machinery around. They just give you an excuse to throw them into shit. Like how his body didn't even explode. His arm just popped off when he fell over. Oh god, I ran out of grip energy. Need to get out of there. I'm not trying to get grabbed and thrown into something. Getting hit by projectiles off screen is probably one of the most annoying parts of this entire game. Not sure why the music got all intense there for a second. There was no jump scare, and there's no enemies in the room. It's one of those weird uh, mysteries in this game. Could have been a glitch for all I know. The game is a little buggy. Took you long enough. Ready when you are. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. Danny made us run all the way over here by ourselves in the snow. That's all good. We gotta get out of here somehow. On three, two, one. Okay, I'll pull the snow cat around. Meet you outside. Eventually, we make our way back outside. So we gotta get through a couple little areas here so Danny can pick us up in the snowcat. We gotta walk through all these uh, supposedly frozen bodies. So, as you can see, enemies are still taking quite a bit of damage from the Sun Baton. Mind you, I've upgraded this thing a handful of times, and it still doesn't do that much damage. So I cannot imagine running through like the harder difficulty levels trying to use that thing. I'm trying to be smart here and only pull like one or two enemies at a time, uh, because if you get mobbed by more than a handful of enemies in this game, you're gonna get messed up pretty bad. This game's a melee combat system. It's kind of lock-on based, so your character's going to swing at the nearest enemy, uh, which sometimes, you know, other enemies in the area, they take advantage of the slow animations, and they'll get a free hit on you. It's kind of cheap sometimes. Dude. It's taking Danny an awful long time to get down here. I don't know how much ammo I got left. Oh, speak of the devil. Here she is. Now I'm just getting greedy. Alright, I'm a 
gonna let this cutscene play out here. those who don't remember, this is my ship from the beginning of the game. Look at my ship. She's a real beauty, ain't she? Just as good as the day I left her. There. Hey, what are you doing? What's in here? Uh, medical supplies. Bullshit. Open it. Why? Because I said so. We're not going anywhere until you do. <laughs> okay, fine. Yep, just like I told you. But records show you made multiple drops right before the incident. Maybe had a dozen other cargo ships. Don't try to talk your way out of this. I know you were involved. I had nothing to do with what happened on your ha <laughs> ha <laughs> This way. So what were you expecting to find? UJC bioweapon. Traced it from Europa to here. To my ship? I thought so. Damn, we've been doing some Control terrible shit. Up ahead. Get ready. Take an elevator up and get out of here. Pretty much all we did, fight some enemies. And then we called uh, something like a distress beacon. So someone could come pick our asses up. for me on this one. I appreciate you watching this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one.
It's right on time. Oh, it's a hell of a lot bigger than my ship. You fly it? Yeah, I'll fly anything that gets us off this rock. What, what are you doing? It's not me. No. One must learn to accept what they cannot control. Still, I'm impressed that you made it this far. Perhaps you both have potential after all. Mr. B. Mr. Nakamura, your journey was especially long. All the way from Europa. What'd you say? But I'm afraid there's just too much at stake here. And the protocol cannot be broken. So, though your story ends here, please know that you have my respect. Fucking job. This is crazy. 